I woke up with coke nose. There's zero dollars in my bank. I've never been to court for anything. I'm a homeless guy. I'm a nice girl. Look at all I've been through, dude. Seriously, I deserve a plaque or a fucking trophy or goddamn it, some shit. A million dollars. Mother mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. FTR, please try not to take in these bad vibes. Someone stole now my A chain. So the chain I wear every day along with my ID. Anyway, yeah, my A-chain and my ID have both been stolen, um, so I am fearful that someone may be wandering around wearing, you know, a Nike hat and my A-chain. That's been stolen from here just keeps growing and growing. Um, anyone who knows me knows I have exactly 14 tattoos and where they are and how to look for them, so please keep your eyes and ears open. Well, let me Heather, are you there? Better can you hear us? Better can you hear us? Better are you in there? Better can you hear us? Better are you in there? It's the police. Is the note in there? Oh, hello. Why are you here? Because you were doing dumpster and I was worried about you. You don't live here. I would okay. get the fuck away from you. Know what? Okay, I'm sorry. No. see my kids i just been here doing air duster for four days or two days i never smoked air duster in my whole entire life before this i miss my kids i want my life back where's my family what's going on here same questions up until uh that's right 2020 so what do i know what do i know i'm just their mother and the woman who pushed them out of their vagina 10 i'm sorry 15 years ago um and i've just been with them along this whole entire um but i don't know it's just been weird and then literally if they just answer and say hello i feel much better I am so concerned about my kids and why they're not with me. Uh, that seems like the best place for them. In court that I can't keep the kids safe, but it's not my ex. It, so this is my real thought. I think that my exes got caught doing something and someone is exploiting them with whatever that information is that they were doing. So instead of my exes being dealt with or having to deal with things, they're using the exploitation and trickling it down to affect my children and forcing my children to do whatever they say by threatening them with the information they have about my exes. That's what they do. So they say it's safe. It's safety. They're keeping them safe. They don't. They, they exploit them. And I want to know where my children are. It's been three days since I've been able to locate them. Where are they? They say they're at their cousin's house and their dad's not answering the phone. Just none of it makes sense. And why, why would a predatory government want to separate, a predatory local government want to separate a mother and child? Are we in her bag? You're not in my bag. Miss um, L859, accessory.
Hurry up and tell me. Immediately. open discussion but every time I ask a question when it's time for answers what do I hear somebody play a cricket chirping sound please somebody anybody yeah and make that a repetitive theme over the past how many years thank you for the mush eating some fucking frosting. It's 140 calories, zero protein, and who fucking cares?
I mean, what else can I do, right? Nobody gave me any for free. A63, Nissan Silver Rogue. There was no one anywhere on this floor. They were posting that multiple people have shown me duplicate accounts, fake accounts, uh, where they are using my likeness, my name, my stage name, my performance name to trap people or me um, claiming that I am escorting, that I am selling drugs, that I am doing all this stuff that I am not doing. They have illegally entered my phone, my iCloud, stolen my photos to make those ads. I have nothing to do with it. I have no idea who's responsible for it, but it's not me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much a summary of what we've been going through since 2019. Um, I don't even use my link card anymore because they've convinced my family and I that if we use, if we rely on government assistance, they're going to rape us or otherwise exploit us. So now it's like I, uh, all I can do is continue, you know, to document. I've, ga I've gotten eight different forms of employment since this began in 2019, only to be stalked and harassed at each one on day two or three. And they've been all over the world, all over the country, um, and all over the state of Illinois, places I've never gone before. How would these people know where to find me on day two of a waitressing job in Roselle, Illinois? Day two. I've never lived in Roselle in my life. I have no connections to Roselle. But on day two of me working, you've got people coming in to harass me and stalk me out of the job. That's, uh, you know, I, I, this, and that was the eighth time that happened since 2019. So, um, that's pretty much where we're at. I'm concerned about my kids, specifically the baby the most, the big kids answer. Um, but I am very concerned about them as well. I know children are, are, you know, honest. As a general rule, um, they say too much. My kids are holding back and they're, and they're scared to talk and that's not normal. So I need to understand what the fuck is going on. He also had a bunch of offers for deals. So, you know, there's a lot of different mitigating circumstances and factors that are taking place here that I don't give a fuck about. But what I do care about is why to this day, I have not been able to see a judge. To this day, I have not been able to talk to a therapist. To this day, I have not been able to um, receive any answers about the unlawful de detainment of myself or either one of the children that I've mentioned besides my own, um, besides the unlawful detainment, the gang stalking. Um, they don't fucking get dressed. They don't work out. They're huge. They don't even wash in between their fucking creases. Nasty motherfuckers. So, and again, please continue to watch the comments. Those are the accessories. Those are the people who are continuing to perpetuate a false narrative at my expense. Those are the people who need to be charged criminally, uh, every single one of them. Um, it's just past the point of online bullying. It's literally torture. It is literally harassment. It is literally stalking. So all of those things, it's so predatory and exploitative. It's so disgusting. And I just want to, to meet all these people in person. Like I'd like to line them up, put them in a line. <laughs> I'm not going to say what came to mind, what I'd like to do with them. But, um, I think we should put them in a line and just sit down with them. Let's get inside their fucked up, twisted heads and find out on what planet they come from, where behavior like this is acceptable. Uh, who are you people? Where are your own families? Where are your own friends? I'm still trying to figure out what the mug is going on. I spoke with the two older kids yesterday, thank God. I got to wish my son a happy birthday. I'm still worried about my youngest daughter. I have not had contact with her now for four weeks. Her father would never do that on his own, so I know there's some sort of weird um, interference going on. I've emailed and a bunch of their other family members. She responds back, hey, beautiful, blah, 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 like everything's fine, but then doesn't say anything about my daughter or if she could check on them. So I'm just in a weird place with them about that. 
I feel like it doesn't take much effort to just be like, yeah, they're good, or can you please call? You know what I mean? So, anyways, I love you guys, and I'm hoping to hear back from them soon. I'll keep you guys posted. So, in a conservation effort, I've been, like, looking at everything I have and, like, trying to use it. You know, it does hurt me. My children are watching. Prior to 35 months ago, uh, my children lived with me full time. So, yeah, it does hurt me. Prior to G December, of uh, just this past December, I saw my children every day. I bought myself a car. I paid off my own car loan. I bought myself a car. I bought myself a car. Brown Smart IPL.